Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at a video game called Traffic Road Rush. I picked it up off Steam. It's 99 cents. Uh, it's an endless runner racing game. I don't know if you call it racing games. You're not racing against anyone. Maybe the clock, I guess. But anyway, um, I'm not overly impressed with this game. And we'll get into why. It looks okay. So the blurb here is like, do you like speed in cars? Then Traffic Road Rush is made for you. Feel the speed and drive on an endless track with multiple racing modes. It's kind of stretching it. I mean, technically it's true. Uh, earn points and buy new cool cars to be the fastest. Developer is Crimson Earth Games. Publisher the same. Came out November 30th of 2018. So a couple years ago. I said 99 cents. Uh, some options here. Low, medium, high. We'll leave it on medium for uh, recording purposes. Really, it's not much difference. I've looked at them both, though. So. Start out with this red BMW, it's maybe like a 1 series I guess. Yeah, you can upgrade to this older looking, I don't know what is that, like an older 3 series. And then more of a modern, um, probably, probably a 3 series again, and then your 5 series I guess, maybe 7 and like an X5, and then that's it. So you start out with that, you got 1 way, 2 way, time attack, speed bomb, speed bomb you like a bus. We'll show that in a few. Let's do the basic one way. You do have sunny and rainy weather options. We'll do sunny first. So it looks pretty good. Sounds okay. Uh, the problem problem here is control for me. The controller support, but you can see the buttons don't do anything. You get to press up to accelerate, which is the worst mechanic for any racing game. Pressing up, very, very dumb. Not like a Tandy or Commodore game. I mean, 2018, you can map some buttons or do the you know right trigger, left trigger, like every other racing game. Uh, it also has no like buzz and whistles like in racing. There's no nitrous. Some games like this do have, which kind of it does help. So you just go on top speed, which is 180 in this car. The closer you get, you get your points and by distance, and then it's one and done back to break. I mean those trees are moving maybe a little too much. <laughs> I guess it's very windy. So, but the, the distance draw is pretty decent. A lot of cars on screen. I need to kind of pop up a little bit. So do this the best you can without hitting a car. If you hit a car you're done. The run ends right there. So there's the score, and there's my money. That's that's a, a big problem in the game. So here's my money, right? I've played multiple times now. 7,000. And you probably noticed 25,000 for this kind of crappy car that you're not going to buy. You're probably going to get this because you're going to be impatient, I guess, if you play this that long, 35. But then maybe you just save for this one or just max out at 50 and then that's all the game kind of has to offer car wise and the gameplay doesn't warrant that long of playthroughs to unlock these cars i don't think uh, we'll go to oops, right there start got to the red car could give us some color options as well but nope and then you have the two-way we'll do in the rain the rain effect i'd say is pretty good that's like on the screen. So I think that looks pretty good. There's a lot of traffic in this one. And I just kind of figured I randomly hit the C button on the keyboard because like none of these buttons do anything on the controller. And there's no mapping that I can tell. So if you hit C, you get this horrible camera angle which is supposed to be probably cockpit or hood maybe. But it's a mess. And then I'll show you the other one in a second. So you saw all those black lines, you know, are in your field of vision. So you got the default. It's probably the most, I don't know, it looks the best, I guess. Then you have this, like, kind of mobile game view. Because these endless runners are, you know, big on mobile games. You probably get something like this for free. Actually, you can, like, speed car. So you do have 
some camera options. It's a nice. It doesn't tell you that anywhere. I just hit C randomly because I figured maybe it'd work. Got my menu here. Um, got the this bomb mode. Here's this bus. You have to maintain the speed so it doesn't blow up. Uh, the meter should come on here any second. There, bomb health. Okay, so keep going. Try not to hit cars. If you hit a car, the bomb health goes down like that. And if you slow down, bomb health goes down as well. So let's see what we can do here. Let's just try to blow it up. It does have a decent explosion effect. I hit some of these cars here. I mean, it's nice to put this mode in, I guess. It's fun for like, I don't know, 10 seconds. And then... Boom. Yeah, 300 points. Or 300 money, that's terrible. And the last thing we can show you here is time attack. So it's like what it says. Um, we'll do rain again because that looks the best. And then time left over there. It's like, I think it starts at 100 seconds. Let's try to get as far as you can. You can do this mode. Some might think it's easier. It's very slidey. Slippery, slidey. <laughs> I would give this game probably a four out of ten because it, it just—I don't like when game player or game developers do this. They have like the bones of a good game here. A couple things would make it maybe like a six, but right as it is, I would say it's a four. Could use the nitro. Um, that camera angle could be fixed. I mean, if you don't want to have the graphics of the hood, just do. Um, Total FPS where it's just a road. And my biggest complaint is the controls. Pressing up, I can't stand that. Uh, if you do like Endless Runners, uh, Retro Wave is $1.99, I think full price. Goes on sale a lot. It's like an 80s thing. Has multiple cars, really good soundtrack. Also, there's no music in here. I don't think the weather changes as you go on either. So I would recommend something like that over this. I do enjoy these a little bit. I mean, they'll find like time waster. It's like he's a high score. Like a uh, old Enduro on an um, Atari. Let's see how far we can get here in this time attack. We got. Oh my. 10 seconds. We'll finish it. If it doesn't, I'm mixing my arm. So that's a damage sound, but no damage like cosmetics or anything. <laughs> <laughs> the car just goes off to the left, I guess. Alright, so this is Traffic Road Rush. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, at 99 cents, games like this are free on mobile. It's probably a free one on Steam. I probably have one. Uh, but Retro Wave is a good endless runner. Uh, it's a lot better than this. has really good music. Um, also has three camera angles that work. So here, and these are all BMWs. So if you're not a BMW fan, I mean, it doesn't say BMW, but you can tell you are the only BMWs. <laughs> it's only the grill, of course. So if you're not a fan of that as well, I mean, that's the only options you got. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.